what's a go my people welcome back let's make this rich nice two peas with veggie chunks i'm using about one and a half cups of goya red beans now make sure to rinse these off properly and remove any debris or any bad peas all right here i'm adding enough water to cover the beans once this comes to a boil i will add additional water here i'm adding garlic thyme i'm also going to add salt cover the pot and allow the beans to cook until tender you can choose to soak this overnight or pressure cook the beans which will definitely reduce the cooking time so this has been boiling for a few minutes now now what i'm going to do is what we call sinking the peas beans and that's basically adding enough water so they cook properly right here i'm needing some flour to make the spinners i won't go in much of any detail but i will list everything in the description so make sure to check that out i'm also going to go ahead and soak some veggie chunks that's the brand but you can use whatever other brand that's available to you i'm going to allow the veggie chunks to soak and rehydrate for at least 15 minutes after which i'm going to drain the liquid and rinse them off the next step is to saute and lightly season the veggie chunks so here i added some unrefined coconut oil and i'm going to saute some onions for about a minute or two so now i'm going to go ahead and add the veggie chunks and as i said i'm going to lightly season this because once i add this to the beans everything will be seasoned again Here I'm adding some vegetable bouillon, I'm also going to add onion powder, garlic powder, water, pepper and a bit of ketchup for the acidity which will definitely help flavor wise once I add this to the beans. So once you're done just set this aside let's check on the peas and at this point the peas cook i'm going to remove all the thyme stems add some coconut milk the sauteed veggie chunks some fresh seasoning dried seasoning the spinners and allow the stew to cook down So now I'm going to go in with the spinners and if you've been supporting me for a while now you should know by now what are spinners if you weren't familiar. Alright so after adding all the spinners I'm going to cover the pot and allow the stew to come together nicely for about 25 minutes or until I get to my desired consistency. And at this point make sure to season this to your liking. my people still up and running this came out lovely rich and nice i serve this with some rice and quinoa salad and avocado Thank you so much for watching i hope you try and enjoy the recipe let me know if you do remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bless upon yourself